Let's talk about awnings and our crazy experience with awnings. So yeah, with a shuttle conversion or a van conversion or a bus conversion, there's all kinds of different options and ways you can go for awnings for it. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, this is our third iteration of awnings and it's actually the easiest and most simple version that we've come up with after uh, two years on the road and uh, so let's talk about uh, what we started off with uh, so yeah when we first hit the road we uh, picked up a uh, Yazcom uh, awning that was the kind that attached right to the side of the rig and let's uh, kind of show you how that worked out for the starters good morning Eric from uh, Wanderboom here uh, just uh, at a lovely Home Depot here in Las Vegas. Uh, got our delivery for our uh, Yescom 8 by 8 foot uh, awning that I'm going to be attaching to the van here right along between. It works out 8 feet right between our two main uh, doors here and hopefully it'll line up and fit all up above there. I'm gonna open it up here and uh, install that and I'm gonna put the put the time lapse on so you can see how it uh, how it goes up and I'll uh, follow the process as we go so uh, here we go take too long to put up there. Uh, had to use uh, just self tapping metal screws. Um, ended up screwing it right directly up into the side of the bus here. So we'll give it a, a final review once we've used it four or five times and let you know how, how it's holding up. Please hang up and try again. So as you can see, that uh, that didn't end up working out so good. It was fairly cheap, pretty lightweight. Uh, it didn't really, I mean, we made the mistake of leaving it up in a thunderstorm. So uh, again, no, not many awnings are gonna hold up very well if you leave them out in a thunderstorm. So pretty much our fault on that one. Again, then we decided to try this route, actually seeing uh, Eamon and Beck did a similar version on there with their uh, Sprinter build uh, last year. And so that gave us the idea of buying these ones that were, again, there are two of them for $80 on, on uh, Amazon. Uh, but we decided to go a different route here. And uh, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a little more flexible setup we're going to do with these uh, King Camp awnings. <laughs> King Camp awnings that uh, are, we got two of them and they're, set, they're like seven feet by 10 feet and they have like the tent pole thing. And they're also, you know, totally flexible. So we can set them out. Um, we can take them to the beach. We can put them on different sides of the van. So uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how I kind of lay these guys out, but first kind of open them up and take a look at them and uh, check it out. So we got two of these uh, awnings, which are kind of really nice. They, they both wrap up in these really small storage bags. Um, and I uh, haven't actually opened them up totally yet. So let's take a look at what we got here. Got some extra cardboard wrapping around them. Set that aside. So yeah, King Camp. Same as our, our handy bamboo table that we got, by the way. We'll talk about that in another video. But um, basically, it's kind of heavy. We've got our poles, we've got our stakes from the feel of it. So it basically goes together kind of like a tent. It has the, uh, the extension poles and uh, the, uh, you know, basically it's a great big, sort of almost like the top of a tent. Well, that's just one of the awnings put up. Uh, they're bigger than I expected. So uh, for right now, we're just gonna mount the one sideways this way. Um, again, the, we I ordered these additional poles that uh, are extend taller than the uh, the ones that come with it. These ones have the, uh, it comes with these with this little pigtail, and but they're a little shorter here than the uh, 
the ones I have here. So the idea is we need to be able to clear the doors here to be able to open and close. And that's one of the nice things about this. Our other, the other awning only came to, um, you know, to here at the end of the doors. And uh, so we didn't have these doors ever covered up. And this way, with the way this has got this big high uh, deal up on top, we can have these doors open and still get the shade we need. So right now we, we ended up, we bought two of them. And uh, right now I think we're only gonna be using one. I bought these additional poles for actually 50 bucks for the two poles, but they're really good quality, heavier duty ones than these ones. These don't adjust the ones that came with it. We can lower down the front a bunch more. I just used some simple hooks and carabiners to attach it up onto the uh, the van itself up there. And uh, yeah, should be handy. Not uh, and easily enough to take it right down, throw it in a bag and we don't have to worry about it, so. They were pretty nice, but the problem is that they just catch, they can catch a lot of air uh, when, from underneath. And uh, uh, they, we again made the mistake. Well, actually we left for a couple hours and left them up and we, there was a fluke thunderstorm blew through while we were gone and we came back and they were just shredded. So uh, didn't, didn't work out so good on those. So again, we figured uh, we still had these poles. So why not just utilize the existing poles and uh, the ropes and stuff and just go with a simple nine by 12 tarp. Yeah, so after our second uh, debacle there with our uh, beach tent awning kind of thing, we had two of these nice big poles. And uh, unfortunately, one of them, when they, when they got thrashed, one of them got bent really badly and was trashed also. So we had one of these. So we decided on this last round to get two more, a little bit more affordable versions of these poles. They're a little bit shorter. They, they don't go quite as tall as the uh, these other dark ones. But I uh, had the one good one left, so we got two new ones for the corners, and then we use this one for the center one, and it gives us a nice little, uh, little higher section up front if we need it, and because uh, again we like to be able to see out the the windows here and enjoy views at times. So if the you know if the sun is drooping low, we can drop this one down and have it uh, uh, at a lower level. But uh, otherwise, it's uh, nice to have it up high like this, and we got. Uh, use the same uh, ropes that we had from uh, earlier, the earlier versions. And uh, I'll show you how we connect it up to the, uh, to the rig itself up there. So yeah, we have between the roof rack are made from the, uh, the old internal parts from the bus. I reinstalled those up here, but that gives me these points here to connect to. And then uh, actually drilled a little hole in the uh, solar panel connector or, uh, that goes to the roof just to a, put a carabiner on it. But essentially just have the, the uh, extra strap piece that I had from left over from some other project and a carabiner. And we just hook that right up into the corner of the, our cheap $15 nine by 12 tarp from uh, Walmart. And uh, you know, again, the thing is, if it only lasts three or four months or six months, it's only 15 bucks. So you can always go pick up another one. So just kind of rigged up this strap situation here to hold the middle parts. Again, it's not so much about, you know, keep keeping water off of our ourselves. We we're to try to avoid rain and very wet areas. This one's more about the sun and just keeping some shade for keeping the rig cool in the afternoons. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was informative for you. Um, again, sometimes the simplest solution is uh, works out the best. So, um, and just a side note again, um, we've noticed uh, in the old uh, YouTube analytics that uh, about only 35% of views on these are, of our channel are subscribed. So if you like what we're doing and you like what we're up to, please subscribe and share with some friends. And uh, if you really like what we're up to, hit the notification bell and then you can keep track of everything we're doing. Again, we've got a lot of builds on uh, shuttle buses, buses, uh, vans, and also just a lot about just how to be a nomad out there on the road these days. So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, remember, join the Wanderboom because it's, it's happening all around, everywhere. <laughs>